Good morning everyone. The first practical of second rotation in experimental lab is tracing a normal cardiogram of frog's heart. Now, what is normal cardiogram? The normal cardiogram is the recording of the mechanical activities of frog's heart. And how this normal cardiogram differs from the electrocardiogram? Yes, the electrocardiogram is the recording of electrical activities of the heart. But in normal cardiogram, we record the mechanical activities. The normal heart rate of a frog heart is 40 to 50 beats per minute. Now, this is the heart of a frog. So the amphibian heart is three chambered. As you can see here, right atrium, left atrium, and a single chambered ventricle. It is not divided as in a mammalian heart. This right atrium, it receives the blood which is deoxygenated from a sinus venosis. And this left atrium, it receives the oxygenated blood from a pulmonary vein and the blood is coming from a lungs. Now, this oxygenated and deoxygenated blood is going to mix on this single chamber ventricle. And from ventricle, then again, this blood is carried by a iota to the different parts of the body like head and brain. And via this pulmonary artery, again carry towards the lungs for the oxygenation. And this conus arteriosus, it's going to receive the blood from the ventricle. Again, the same diagram, ventricle, atrias, sinus venosus, vena cava, iota. When you look at the frog's heart, dorsally, then you can see that there is opening of sinus venosus in the right atrium and there is again a opening in the left atrium of pulmonary vein and then the blood oxygenated and deoxygenated blood come into the ventricle. Now there in ventricle you can see there's some special grooves here which are ventricular grooves or trabeculi. Now what is the function of these trabeculi? These trabeculi, they help to separate the oxygenated and deoxygenated blood because some part of the frog, it needs a oxygenated blood, like the brain. So the more oxygenated blood is get separated by, via these ventricular groove and then it is going towards the systemic arteries. And the deoxygenated blood through this conus arteriosus, obviously, it going towards the pulmonary artery or pulmocutaneous artery and where it, it will go it will go towards the skin and the lung again for the oxygenation of the blood this is the original picture of frog heart now what is the difference between human heart and frog heart so these all are the parameters when we talk about the chambers in human heart, there are four chambers, two atria and two ventricles. But in frog heart, there are only three chambers, two atrium and one ventricle. Pacemaker cells in human heart, SA node and AV node. But in frog heart, sinus venosus. Separation of oxygenated and deoxygenated blood in human heart by the different chambers. But in frog heart, this is by the trabeculi, as we have discussed in an earlier diagram. Now, the blood from ventricle is pumped to entire body through a aorta, but in frog heart, it is pumped by truncus arteriosus or conus arteriosus, same name. Now, what is WCL? WCL is wide crescentic line, which is present between the atrium and the sinus venosus. And this WCL is absent in human heart and is present in frog heart. Now the coronary arteries, they are well developed in human heart and in frog heart, they are not well developed. 
So to perform this practical or to trace the normal cardiogram of a frog heart, what do we need? We need a chymograph, which we need as a recording device. We need myograph board with stand. Starling's heart lever, pins, also one hooked pin and thread. Ringer solution, frog and dissection instrument. Dissection of frog, the first step is pithing. Then lay the pith frog on its back on the frog board. Make a median season through the skin put a sternum, then raise the ziffy sternum with blunt forcep and separate it from the underlying tissue. Remove the bone and then identify the beating heart inside the pericardium. Lift the pericardium with blunt forceps, make a slit in pericardium and study different parts of heart. And when we identify the ventricle, then from the apex of the ventricle, we hook a bent pin. And then we tie one end of the thread to a pin and lift the ventricle. And the ustra end we will tie with the starling heart lever. So this is all set up here. Chymograph, myograph board with the stand. This is the board with the stand. And uh, starling heart lever is there. Frog is lie down, lay down here, and uh, this is the ventral aspect because we have to reach the heart. So this is ventral aspect. Now this is the heart of the frog. This is called ventricle here, and from ventricle, the uh, the thread is tied here, and the other end of the thread is fixed with the starling heart lever. And in this way, when the frog contract and relaxes, the recording we will get here. So normal cardiogram, we can trace like this. Normal cardiogram, which is the recording of mechanical activity of frog's heart. And uh, systole is the contraction, diastole is the relaxation. Here you can see the two activities. One is activity of atrium and other is activity of ventricle. Thank you.